Huh? Are you like that? Huh? Oh, I like it. I love it. Did you like that? I love it. You get me all fired up. You get it all fired up, like the flames. Go, we'll go open up a restaurant. <laughs> Dude, I'd open a restaurant with you any day. We need, we need a Kelly barbecue up here in Canada. There you go. Yeah, we can. Can you ever come up here? Canada. Can you come up here? Absolutely. Calgary. Toronto is amazing, dude. I had a phenomenal time in Toronto. I know, but you haven't been out west here. You got to come out to Calgary. Okay, Calgary. Calgary. I'm Calgary. okay with Calgary. This is where beef is born, dude. We got to okay. bring you out here. All That's right. That's what's happening. Sweet. <laughs> That's where it's happening. Look, we're going to put this little banner thing across the bottom because we are the only North American daily food show uh, out there. Uh, anyways, I want to welcome our guest, everyone, as me and Sean will just chat all day. Uh, we won't take too much of his time because he's like probably you're probably like the second busiest guy in the united states in media right social media for restaurants i don't i i we're pretty busy we're pretty busy it would be i would be lying to say we we weren't busy but we have uh we've been fortunate to have a full calendar of in real life speaking events and uh seem to be on some sort of live show podcast TikTok, linkedin um every single day so it's we love what we do it's all good so so what's your writer like what's what what's your writer like my writer yeah like you, when you go all these tours across the country you're like a rock star now do you have like the m&ms in the studio and <laughs> the bottle no, water no the fuji in the water <laughs> yeah no matt matt rolf take care took care of us in toronto he gave us the v we got a vip basket you know he gave me a custom basket for my wife and my son and my daughter it was very very sweet very Jeez. thoughtful I was like, this is Canadian hospitality. I'm all, I'm in. I'm all in. Wait a second. I don't think I got a basket. I, ah, got a too. I don't know. Maybe you didn't make you enough know. content promoting his event. <laughs> we gotta we gotta talk about that. We gotta yeah. talk. Matt's on some boat. Wait. I saw him the other day. He's on some boat somewhere. So he's enjoying go. a little break. Nice. But so Sean, how do you say your last name so I don't put your is it Walchef? Walchef. It's Bulgarian. Is it Bulgarian? Bulgarian, Eastern it's, European. It's a brilliant last name man, for what you do. Yeah, it's it's ironic. It's an ironic last name because I'm I'm not the chef. I'm not the pit master. I'm definitely the guy with the smartphone going around and TikTok living with my pit masters and team. I mean, we are a barbecue media company, so um, we take that very seriously. So serious that it's our URL. It's calibbq.media. So all of our five restaurants are on our calibbq.media. You can buy barbecue online. But more importantly, you can find content. So you can find our podcast, our blog, um, anything that we're we gonna can. put it up. Yeah, we're gonna put all your links, all your stuff up on our site, and we'll put it up on our channel and stuff like that. Because you got to check all your stuff out. Because for us in Canada here, we can learn a little bit from you. And hopefully today we can learn something that these people can do today. Because you taught me some stuff, and I actually have to tell you this because cool. you did a, you did some stuff at the event that we were at. A few weeks ago, or I don't even know, was it a month ago or something? I don't, I don't even know what day. Weeks it is. ago, two weeks ago. It was oh, okay. thanks, thanks, Sean. Yeah, quickly. <laughs> well, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> I know. I just like it's crazy. I've been traveling yeah. too. Um, you taught us a few things, and I want to share some things with you because this is that what they call like the butterfly effect or whatever. But what you did to us, I got to share something because I don't know if you understand the impact that you gave me that I shared um, the following week, and so. You shared with us about doing selfies, video selfies, and how important it is. And you had us do them, right? Yes. We took your advice. And then that weekend, I went and I did the same thing with 25 students at a college. Yes. And I, I did that. It. And I said, Sean taught us this, so we're going to teach you this with Sean said. Then today, I just did this with our chef today up here. Yes. In Calgary. And I just shared the same thing. And I said, Sean says to do this, so you got to do this. So you're impacting 25 students now. That's amazing. And then you impacted our chef today. And you're going to impact so many other people up here in Canada. You don't even know this. You're sitting down I, there on a bench. I really, I truly, <laughs> I truly appreciate you sharing that with me. And it's, it's something that we believe wholeheartedly in. It's something that is the hardest thing for anyone to do. And that's to understand taking a selfie isn't selfish. And I say that. <laughs> I love with, that. With, with full confidence knowing that I was the one that made fun of my friends or anyone that I saw posting pictures of themselves working out or doing something going, who do you think you are? You think you're an influencer until we couldn't get anyone into our restaurant. You know, wow. once we were struggling to pay the bills, we realized that this gift that we have, this smartphone, all of these apps, they're all free. 
you know, if I can get someone to come in and, and find out about our barbecue restaurant or our business because I'm willing to be uncomfortable and go in selfie mode and talk to the camera, talk to Facebook, talk to YouTube, go on a podcast. Um, why aren't we all doing that? I mean, mm -hmm. we're great in real life. In real life, people are really good. But when it comes to whipping out your phone and talking to it to a smartphone and then hitting publish, people get terrified. It's like you're, you know, it's, it's worse than speaking in public. You know, I, I think it is in a way. You're absolutely right. But you, I can't, I hope you know how much you had an effect on a lot of people up here. So I appreciate that. That, I, that, I, that I, means like, a lot. I, it, it was powerful to see everybody uh, doing it. And, you know, the, the even more powerful when you have, when you have that content on your phone, because then you're able to post it yourself, you know, mm -hmm. and a magical thing happens once you post content about yourself. Um, people want to know who you are and what you do. And beyond that, they're curious. You know, I've, uh, I was at Anaheim and Meredith Sandland, who wrote Delivering the Digital Restaurant with Carl Orsborn. It's one of the most, uh, the books that I recommend to all restaurant people um, because it's so important. But she was on stage ta talking about LinkedIn and how she writes these in-depth articles, data-centric, mm -hmm. all these insights that she finds. Yet, whenever she talks about herself and her family and her dog or her husband, um, it always gets the most engagement and it yeah. always gets the most engagement because people care about humans. You know, we care about humans, but we pretend when we're making B2B content, business to business content that, you know, we have to just post things about our industry. We have to just post pictures of food. Well, what about the humans behind the food, mm -hmm. you know? And the more that I've shown people in my restaurant cooking barbecue, the Steven Swiderski who runs our ghost kitchen, he's our catering manager. You know, I brought him, he was, when he first started working for us, I'd take him to the local news station. You know, I would be the one getting interviewed because I've done it a lot now. So I've made all the yeah. mistakes and I still continue to make mistakes, but he would come on camera and they would ask him questions. And I remember how nervous he was in the beginning, but the more that he did it, the more comfortable he got. And now he has no problem taking out his smartphone when he goes down to the ghost kitchen and say, hey, it's Steven, you know, we've got wings available today. We're open for Super Bowl. Come and check us out. And then not only will he send me the content so we can post it on our platform, but he'll post it himself. And um, wow. more people talking about your business um, is the only way to grow because that's where everyone's attention is. Yeah. And I've been saying that a lot lately around that people follow people. Yep. Not really businesses. And and I, th I don't know if you said that, but we I, I learned a lot from your lecture. So, but uh, you're absolutely right. And I find... Um, I find like when we launched our show here on the SAK network and we looked at the models, a lot of people are like, well, why do you do it live? Like, why don't you just do it like everyone else and record it, edit it and all this stuff. And I said, there was something about as soon as you say you're live, yep. um, and record it live in a way that the authenticness of it kind of like times tens it. And yep. I really see that. Right now I got to ask you this question because restaurateurs are going to watch this and they're going to watch us on our on-demand channel and stuff like that. So I'm a restaurateur. I hear Sean telling me I got to do selfies and stuff like that. What do they talk about? What do you think they should be talking about when they do selfies or they do stuff when they grab their phone and say, so I got to do some stuff. Cause Sean said, so, uh, so what, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to do, we're going to do a little master class into what we talked about up, go. up in Toronto. And that's the, the number one premise is to be the show, not the commercial. So okay, the, answer the, show, to the, the, the answer to the internet and the problem that we have as humans is that we think when we think of content creation is that we need to make a commercial about our business. So a commercial that would show during the Super Bowl, you know, some million dollar commercial that's a 30 second advertisement for your business. That's what we think needs to go on Facebook and needs to go on TikTok and needs to go on Instagram. And that's not what people want. What people want is you living your day, you essentially vlogging, video logging, what's happening in your business. So the internet, the TikTokification, which is what something Gary V just put out a, a LinkedIn post about, which is all of the platforms are rewarding short form video. Mm -hmm. Video is showing versus telling. You know, when Instagram came out, it was all photos. It was all filtered yeah. photos. Now we're at a day and age where it's short form video. You know, you don't have to be dancing on video. It's actually more powerful when you're not and you're showing glimpses because that's what it is. You're showing a glimpse of who you are and what you do. And the more that I show a glimpse of 
Jack, our bartender, making a fishbowl and putting a rubber ducky into the fishbowl cocktail, which is a 64 ounce, you know, for two people Mai Tai. Well, why is he putting a fishbowl, a rubber duck into the fishbowl? And he tells a joke about the, the fishbowl that he's doing. Well, now people, when they go into our restaurant, they know Jack. They know Jack because they saw him on Cali Barbecue's Instagram page, or they saw him on his TikTok channel. And the same thing goes for Bernice, who's our pit master cooking our ribs. The same thing goes for Eric, my general manager, who him and I make toast unboxing videos. Toast is our primary technology I've seen partner. They're awesome. And they, we, so we inspire other restaurant owners to do, are you willing to do what other people are unwilling to do? Because that's what makes you stop when you're scrolling on the internet. Mm -hmm. everyone's posting the same stuff i have a special it's happy hour this is our new seasonal favorite like that's all the same stuff talk about why you picked the things that you picked in your restaurant why did you hang that picture on that wall i guarantee you nobody else knows that story but you and your wife probably know the story of why that painting means mm -hmm. so much to you why did you pick the name of your restaurant what happened when you opened it tell us about the failures tell us how hard it was you know, what happened on, literally, we launched our podcast. It was called Behind the Smoke. The first podcast we launched okay, in 2017. Okay. It's called Behind the Smoke. And Behind the Smoke was called Behind the Smoke Barbecue War Stories. And the whole idea was for us to talk about all the things that we failed at. All the things that we didn't <laughs> learn in business school. Of like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to smoke turkeys on Thanksgiving because we're a barbecue restaurant. So we sold turkeys and we sold so many turkeys that we had 220 turkeys that we had to order and then cook. And I had two pickup times, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. So you could either pre-order, come at 10 a.m. or come at 1 p.m. The projections for the cooking times, what temperature we needed to put the, the smokers at were completely thrown off because they were so full with turkeys. So literally, I had people that were supposed to be coming for Thanksgiving at 10 a.m. They didn't get their turkeys until 1230. I had people wow. waiting for two and a half hours. They were <laughs> so angry. I had angry villagers at my restaurant. I ruined their Thanksgiving. I had husbands that wives were calling them on the phone. Are you crazy? Why did you order from this restaurant? And I was like, why am I in this business? Why am I out here diving on the sword? Yet we got, we made our way through that horrible thanksgiving now we don't now we don't do turkeys anymore we were open for limited hours and we just do barbecue <laughs> but like those are the things that we learn and we all learn through lessons and stories so the more that you can go in selfie mode and share vulnerability share the things that didn't go well you'd be surprised at how well you can engage with your audience how often do you engage you said something do you do it daily show sure. every day every day every day if you check you your email every day, you should that? be posting a video every day. Do you see restaurants doing that or is that some homework you're going to give them right now? Uh, that is homework that I give every restaurant owner. And it's not just for restaurants. I talk to business owners. I talk to tech companies, publicly traded companies. I don't care what business you're in. If you're not posting videos on the internet on a daily basis on all these free platforms, then you're not relevant. And wow. I know that's a difficult thing for people to realize, but... If you go to the app store and you look at the most downloaded free apps and you will go, is our business on there? And if it is, are we doing well? Are we building a community? Do people care about what we have to say? If they don't, then you have a problem because that problem is not going away. And we, we attach the subjective feeling towards these logos. We talk mm -hmm. about Facebook, we talk about TikTok, and you think a certain thing. When I say TikTok, I know it triggers a certain thing for every person that I talk to. Like, I'm not doing that. Twitter. Oh, Elon Musk. I'm, I, I don't want to have any part of that. Oh, oh. Facebook. I don't, you know, I hate Facebook meta, blah, blah, blah. Everyone has a subject. If it's just where people are, yeah. all we're talking about is online storytelling. It's audio, video, words, and images. That's how you right. tell stories online. Audio, other, video, words, and images. You remember that audio, video, words, and images. So here's the other thing that you did. You shared, and this is the other thing I also taught my students from you. And I actually think I played the video of you saying this or I shared the photo of it. Now give us the three things about the quality versus yes. quantity. So the answer to the quality. internet, okay, this here we go. Here. something that we've, we, we, right. so I gotta blow your camera up. Give me a second yeah. here. Cause everyone's gotta listen this to this. Everyone's gotta get close the to the answer. camera. This listen. is the answer to the internet. It's quantity plus speed plus consistency equals quality. Quantity okay. plus speed 
plus consistency equals quality. And the problem that we all have, myself included, is yeah. that I wanted quality first. Yeah. I wanted quality content. I wanted a quality Instagram post. I wanted a quality Facebook post. I wanted a quality podcast. I wanted a quality YouTube video. It doesn't happen like that. You've got to put out quantity. You've got to make a lot of bad briskets before you learn how to make a really good brisket. And the problem is, is you got to keep putting up shots. I mean, the amount of game winning shots that Michael Jordan missed and Kobe Bryant missed, two of my basketball heroes, mm -hmm. there's a reason why they were ready when they won those championships, because they had missed so many game winning shots. I mean, one of the greatest Nike commercials is that Michael Jordan commercial that I'm talking about. You have to be willing to make mistakes. And the more mistakes you make, the quicker you make those mistakes, the closer you'll get to making quality content. Do you think, and, and that is one of the best advices, Sean, and I shared that with all these students I taught, exactly that. We had, I think I took a picture of your slide. You had a slide with them awesome. on there. And I shared that. So that, that was one of the biggest things. And I've actually taken that to our company to see that as well, because we're guilty as well on the quality thing, right? We want no, to hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, I, before you go on, I have to give Cisco Canada the biggest shout out. Jay, what you've built, <laughs> honestly, I spend so much of my time and my life giving back to this industry, trying to inspire not just restaurant owners, small business owners, big businesses to invest in media, to create content. And what you've done with this entire show for Cisco Virtual, I mean, I. It, it it seriously it was so inspirational to come up to canada to see what you're doing for the industry because this needs to be done not just in the united states not just in mexico but you name the country this stuff is important because everyone has a voice in the village and their voice is important if your voice was important enough to open up the business why is it not important enough to be on TikTok? Why is yeah. it not important enough to be on a podcast why is it not important enough to be on a youtube stream it is you just have to have the courage and you have to be willing to be uncomfortable and you have to willing you have to be willing to suck because i was terrible <laughs> it was absolutely terrible that's when a shirt dude podcast, you have to be willing to suck you do I love it. yeah <laughs> you know what and i have to tell you we made a truckload of mistakes we still do every yeah. day i would say this we we learn but i tell you and no one knows this yet so this is between me and you and the thousands of people are going to watch this i just made a deal with an nhl Core executive chef. We're going to do a series. I'm not going yeah. to say who it is, but we just made a deal. So we're going to do a series with the chef. We're going to show behind the scenes and everything. The, the amazing organization, NHL, uh, amazing. does with chefs. And we're How going to do cool a series of it live. Yes. Who does that? Yes. Right? Because that stuff is important. Like that's the beautiful thing about what the internet's done is the internet's given us access. It's given us access into stories, into lessons of all of these people that do all of these things. And we take ourselves for granted to think nobody else wants to open up a sports bar and barbecue restaurant. Well, that's not yeah. true. A lot of people have dreams to open up a sports bar and barbecue restaurant. And the more that I'm willing to share all of the things that we're doing to become a digital first restaurant, investing in toast, bringing on seven shifts, adding all these things that we're adding to our tech stack, creating content about our tech stack, that stuff it's getting found by people on the internet. Literally, yeah. they're searching for this stuff and they're DMing me on LinkedIn. They're DMing me on Instagram and they're saying, hey, Sean, I saw your toast video. You know, we've had we've been in business for 15 years using Aloha. Do you think we should switch? Can you get on a call? And of course, I get on a call and I talk to incredible people that are trying to make their businesses better every day. I love that, dude. I love that. And first of all, uh, we don't work with toast up here, but we got yet. I got to work that, on that. I'll too. get that figured out. You got, you got homework. I've given you a couple tasks today. I've got that already. figured out. I've got <laughs> Two that homework out. things on your side. <laughs> no problem. No I problem at all. Okay. I'd be honored. We got, to. We got that scenario, so we don't have to make perfect videos. We don't have to make perfect content, but the the quantity is really important. Yes. Right. And that's every day. Now, what you said, short film. Can you just explain a little bit on short film so the restaurateurs know that you don't need to take long videos. It can be simple, quick, and dirty. Can you just share a little bit of advice? Yeah, on absolutely. So I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give you guys the secret. The secret is that the amount of money that you need to invest to become your own media company, the secret is you've how already much? spent it. You've already spent it. You already <laughs> have it. You already have everything that you need. It's literally in your pocket. Yeah. This iPhone or Android phone that you have is literally a media machine in your pocket. If you are willing to take it out and do a short video 
And by short video, I mean less than 45 seconds, preferably 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and capture one idea, one idea that you have about your menu, one idea that you have about how you started your business, one idea you have about why you care about the community that you're doing business in. If you can do that every single day, the same way that you have a checklist of how you open up your restaurant, how you close your restaurant, the same way you clock in your employees, you clock them out every single day, you post one video to Instagram reels, to TikTok, to YouTube shorts. Those are just playgrounds. Those are just one logo now. That might be different three years from now, but what you're doing is you're learning how to do short form video and that's online storytelling. And the more that you do that, the more that you invest in that, you'll understand that through the quantity, through the speed of getting it out, because you're gonna wanna edit it and you're gonna say, oh, I don't sound good or I don't look good. You have to publish. If you don't publish, you'll never learn. Once you publish the content, then you make it better the next day then you make it better the day after that. And then once you do that on a consistent basis, you'll look back 90 days from now after you've pu published 90 videos and you'll go, oh my gosh, how much better are the videos now three months later versus the video I did in the beginning? Look how scared I was, I was shaking. Vertical video, 45 seconds, one video per day for 90 days. And yes, that means Saturday and Sunday, yeah. every single day, one video per day, Start on TikTok because it's the easiest place to yeah. grow with organic reach. Put it on Facebook, put it on LinkedIn, put it on Instagram Reels, put it on YouTube Shorts. You can get there. It seems overwhelming, but all I'm asking for is one video per day published on the internet. There you go. Sean, I um, I, I just can't thank you enough. Like seriously, like it, it, you mean the world to us. It's just the beginning. And we we, we, we love were, Canada. Seriously, we were, Toronto, to we were to I was I was blown away. My wife, my son, my daughter, we felt so we saw welcome. Your son picks right. about Niagara Falls. He was talking. My son's doing videos. Literally I my know. son did three videos in Canada. He did his first videos. He's been seeing he's been seeing dad talking so much about it. He's like, "Dad, I'm ready to talk." I'm like, "You're 5 <laughs> years old. Let's go." It's cool. He watches he watches YouTubers that make twenty million dollars a year, and they're you know seven year old, eight year old, and they're just unboxing toys. I mean, I just learned yesterday on a clubhouse call. So every Wednesday and Friday, ten a.m. Pacific time, we do a clubhouse call. It's a social media nice. app. We have hospitality leaders, content creators from all over the world, Canada included. Matt Rolf joins us. Nice. We we have these calls, but on the call yesterday, Amazon launched their influencer program. So Amazon has live streaming for influencers. You sign up to be a part of their program and anything that you order on Amazon, you can literally live stream it and get paid on the back end. So they do short Walmart's form video reviews. What's Walmart that? Just started Correct. This too. Walmart is doing it too. Yeah. So this thing, content, commerce, communication. That's what this device is. This smartphone, content, commerce, communication. We already, we're in the food business. How do you sell your food online? You need to make it as easy as possible for someone to buy your food with the smartphone. How are they gonna find it? They're gonna find it through content. How are you gonna follow up? That's communication, that's hospitality. It's all right here. You have everything you need. You just have to make a commitment to be uncomfortable. You're watching this show, so if you follow Jay, you're already, you're already part of the minority. Like you're yeah. part of the people that are winning. You're already playing the game within the game, but now you gotta do the homework. You're simply amazing, buddy. Um, I do want to just, so we're gonna have a little fun. Okay. I didn't mention that. Did I, I didn't mention that. Idea. Really? First of all, I'm, I gotta I'm share, having I gotta, a blast. First of all, I got to share this with you. Okay. First of all, I got to let everyone know that watches this. I emailed Sean, I messaged you yesterday morning saying my on Instagram, on. you DM Instagram, yeah, you slid into my DMs. Yeah. Yeah. On Instagram, I'm like, well, the fastest way I got to you was through Instagram. Yeah. So I'm like, Hey. I need, I need your, I need a hand here. My other guest got sick and you're like, yeah, whatever, whatever it is. So th I just want to thank you because I know how busy you are and you just Honored do that. Do it. It's, it's, it means the world to me and to everyone's going to listen to this. So, but I didn't mention we're going to have a little fun. So I want you to throw back. Okay. We're going to have a little, little we're going to pull a little Jimmy Fallon stuff here. And you're going to have a little fun with you because I, okay. I just love your, the way you think of things. Okay. First thing comes to mind when I say this, this name. Okay. okay, we're gonna go through that. First thing, you're gonna you don't you only get like a half a second to think. You can't okay. even think past first thing to your head, okay? Yep. Okay, keep a context. I I am 
working for Cisco. So here we go. <laughs> go. I would continue to love working, but I love to do. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Hold the camera. Okay. Oprah. Oprah. The best. Mr. Beast. Burgers. <laughs> best barbecue place in the United States. Franklin's. <laughs> okay. Favorite 80s movie. Karate Kid. Are you kidding me? Not Back to the Future. Karate Kid. I, 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 my son just did a Karate Kid video like a couple days ago, which is what made me think of it. You said first thing that came to mind. My son, my son was doing a <laughs> sunset a Karate Kid, karate kid video. <laughs> I, all I've got is content on my mind. <laughs> you know what? I can't thank you enough. You know what? Um, now, where can people learn more and follow you, Sean? Uh, easy. You go to at Sean P. Walchef, S H A W N P W A L C H E F. And that's on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Clubhouse, um, all the platforms. Or you can go to Cali BBQ dot media. Um, or you can just Google my name, and that's Sean Walchef, S H A W N W A L C H E F. I'm weirdly available. I stole that from Ryan Reynolds. Who I know is a very, very, yeah, he, uh, he did an interview for entrepreneur magazine and that was one of, uh, Jason Pfeiffer. He's the editor in chief. He, that was one of his takeaways was that he said, how can Ryan Reynolds be weirdly available? And I get it because I'm weirdly available. Jay, when, when I find people that are playing the game within the game, if you ask, if you need something from me, I'm here for you, man. Whatever you need. I appreciate it, man. Well, we love you up here, brother. And we're we want, you. We want a little, little Kelly barbecue up here in Calgary first, then Evans. Done. And we'll okay. East. But we want to bring you up here and we just appreciate everything you're doing. Follow Sean. We're going to put all your information at the bottom on our YouTube channel plus on our other bazillion channels and on Spotify because you can watch our shows on Spotify as well. Awesome. No, oh, yeah. The other, the other one was check out Restaurant Influencers. That's the show we do with entrepreneur.com. Okay. So check That's out cool. Restaurant Influencers. There we go. There you go. Anyways, I want to thank you for the time you spent with us. Honestly, um, I always like the fact that a lot of people think that we have to get into um, – this in-depth conversation and things like around social and you make it so simple and i think that's what we love about it that you make it simple but it's effective and that's well, what they, i think it's you know it's i'm a digital sociologist all all that all that matters it, it's human behavior all we're talking about is human behavior you know we're just telling stories online we're, we're people overthink it and they go tactical and algorithms it's not about yeah. the algorithms that's not what we're talking about what we're talking about is humans telling stories and we're able to connect with people like you in Canada, people in in Dubai, people all over the globe because of this crazy thing called the internet. Love it, dude. Love it. Appreciate you, man. We'll see you I'm in San Diego. You, anybody that, anybody that's listening to this gets VIP. I will show you the Master Smokehouse and Media Center go. in San Diego. So special. I will buy you a barbecue lunch. If you found this on, on Cisco's virtual kitchen and you heard this, we're literally going to do a selfie video on the roof and we're going to tag Jay. And that'll there be part of the You do that. I will do it. And then I, 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 I will make sure we I'm 100% have doing have, that. We have a few locations. In okay. California, when somebody in comes to San Diego, I, ex I expect them to, to send me a this DM and say, hey, Diego, you know, Jay, you. I saw you on the show. I'm coming for my barbecue. There you go, brother. Hey, you know what? I'm going to send you this picture. How's that? Do that. We'll trade. I'm down. I'll unbox as long as it's in a box person. that I can do an unboxing video. There you go. Well, thanks again, Sean. And to everyone Appreciate else it, who watches and listens to us every day. And uh, Sean, you are a legend. So Appreciate take care, it, brother. Man. And uh, for everyone else, tune in tomorrow. Guess what tomorrow is? Holiday. So we don't, we're just doing reruns tomorrow. But holiday. What holiday? On. What holiday in Canada? It's Remembrance Day. Ah, it's you guys remember Remembrance Day. Remembrance. Day. While we do Veterans Day. Day. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, same thing. We just we call okay. it Remembrance Day up here. And then Monday, we're back with Restaurant Business News with Jim Taylor. Jim's like on it. the Jim's back. So, uh, and then we got like tons of shows coming up next week as well. So, and then uh, I start working with the NHL chef. That's so well. cool. I, love I know, dude's going to be so I'm so excited. So, anyways, cool. see you, Sean. Take care, brother. Appreciate you guys. All, the best. All right, peace. Cheers.